A number of great recipes depend on leek. For example, vichyssoise soup, leek pies, leek uh, with uh, lamb in beautiful fricassees. The leek has two difficulties. One is that if it's a real leek grown in the ground, which most of them are, there will be some um, earth like this. If you come close, you'll see it. There's some earth here at the juncture of the white and the green. And that has to be washed very carefully by splitting the leek and really washing off every single leaf individually around that area. Then it's a question of slicing them to get them into small bits. The idea would be to lay down the leek, cut it into quarters or into halves so that you can slice it thin. Now, normally one would start up at the white part, which is easy, it's softer than at the bottom part. But in order to save your hand and do a better job, I recommend you start at the bottom part, where all the more chunky greens are. And then, as you slowly work your way up towards the white, your hand is getting tireder, but the leak is getting softer, so it's an easier job. This has been my leak tip of the week from Byron. Thank you. This leak is being prepared for spinach and a leak pie in kilo with feta cheese.